Good morning guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at index laws with a general two course. Pretty straightforward stuff, we've done it before. Um, the first law is if you multiply the bases, then we simply add the powers. For example, we could have uh, a squared times a3, which then gives you a to the power of five. Um, you could have for the division one, a to the power of six divided by a to the power of three. Whenever you are dividing the bases, then you simply subtract the actual indices. That gives you a to the power of three because six take away three is three. Um, if you have one in, so one out of the bracket, for example, a squared to the power of five, we simply multiply them to get a to the power of 10. And anything to the power of zero is simply equaling one. In this particular case, the zero only works on the a, it doesn't work on the three. Therefore, this would be three times one which is just three. If I had put it in brackets like such, then the whole thing is the power of zero, which means the answer is just one. So it's a fairly brief introduction. The only other thing I wanna make mention of is sometimes you get this question where they might give you numbers instead of letters. For example, three to the power of two times three to the power of five. That answer is simply three to the power of seven. Okay, sometimes people times the numbers together. We don't do that. Okay, so just be a little bit careful if you actually have just numbers with powers. That's how that would be in indice four. Okay, let's have a look at some of these questions. Um, as you're going through, pause it and then have a crack and see if you uh, get these right. Okay, so for A, let's have a look at the first one. Five times four. So always multiply the numbers first and then deal with the, with the pro numerals. So five times four is 20. Then y squared times y cubed, well, we add the powers to make y to the power of five. Pretty straightforward, right? The next one, b. So we've got uh, no numbers there. Well, I've got one, I guess. One times negative two, well, that's just negative two. a times a to the power of five, well, that's a to the power of one times a to the power of five is a to the power of six. And then b to the power of three times b to the power of one is just b to the power of four. Um, in that case, then the brackets there is just sort of separating the minus, I guess, with the times. Okay, so pretty straightforward. The next one, example two, uh, division, 10 divided by five is two, and then 12 take away three is going to be nine, because the division in question. And it's simple, as easy as that. Next one, 21 over seven is three, um, m squared over m, well that becomes just m because two take away one is just one, and then I've just got an n on top, and that's my answer. Okay, so another fairly easy one. And then we have these ones here, uh, two times one, because x to the power of zero is one, plus five, equals, or well, two plus five, which equals seven. Um, for b, that was a, uh, for b, now we've got this square here, so it works on both the six, the p and the q. So six squared is 36. Um, one times two is two, because it's p to the power of one, so it's just two. And then three times two is six, so p, uh, p squared q to the power of six, and that's my answer there. Uh, the last example I wanna go through, um, just I see this question a fair, a fair bit, they might have something like this, seven q to the power of six w, um, squared all over 21 q to the power of 3 w8. Okay, so often they will give you harder questions where the bigger numbers or even the bigger indices are on the bottom. So I just look to see where it starts and it starts on the bottom here of the bigger number. So I'm going to say 21 divided by 7 is 3. So I'm going to put 3 on the bottom there. Okay, some people might like to say 7 goes into 7 once, 7 goes into 21 three times. It's up to you. Uh, I've got the biggest Q's on top, so I'm going to start from the top. Six take away three is three, so it's Q to the power of three. And I've got a bigger eight, um, number on the bottom for the W's, so eight take away two is six, so it's W6. So always start where the bigger number is, and that's where it belongs. A few people uh, get this one a bit incorrect. Now, how do you put one third Q cubed? W minus six, because two take away eight is minus six. That is actually exactly the same as that. They are the same thing, okay? So both of them are correct. However, that's the way I like that one.
Okay, look, pretty straightforward. Um, I think this runs into exercise 3B uh, from our textbook. Have a crack at it. Any questions, please let me know. They do get a bit more challenging. Um, just remember, if you get more challenging questions, such as, uh, I do see this one a bit, where they might do like 3A to the 6 times 2A to the 7 all over 4A to the 5. Just simplify the top bit first. Um, in that particular case, 3 times 2 is 6, A to the 13 over 4, A to the 5. And then I simplify the numbers. Uh, 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into 4 2 times. So I've got 3, I've got the most A's in the top. So 13 subtract 5 is going to be 8, I believe, all over 2. And then I'm done. Okay, so that's a bit more challenging, but have a crack at those questions. And as I said before, any problems, let me know. Have a great day.